I have been having flurries of ideas running through my head this past week about a bunch of different things, including the new boss that's coming out with the Grand, or not Grandmaster, the normal Master Quest, and just a lot of other things. And I want to kind of break them down a little bit. So if these are just ideas, feel free down in the comments. Let me know if these are horrible ideas or good ideas, what you would like to see changed. And also drop a like on the video, guys. Uh, if you like it, of course, and drop a sub as well. Okay, so let's talk. There's a few things I want to cover. So first off, do you guys remember the Hydra tale, Enter the Fucking Bone Whip? Who remembers Enter the Bone Whip, that whole meme that was going on? Where are my whips, by the way? should bring that out here. So there was at one point going to be an attachment to the Abyssal Whip that was going to be like a bone whip thing. And we kind of got it, I think, from Leagues, whatever that little bone thing looks like. Um, anyway, but nothing ever really happened with the Hydra Tail, I believe. I don't think it has anything to do with the Hydra Tail, that uh, Leagues Whip. But I was thinking, I, uh, I was looking through my bank and I saw my bludgeon, my poor lonely bludgeon that has zero fucking use. And I was like, you know what would be fucking awesome is if the bludgeon got a little bit of an upgrade. So I was thinking, what if the Hydra Tail could, and I'm not just saying this just because I have both of these. I swear to God, this is just something to revitalize the bludgeon a little bit and give a little bit of love to the Hydra Tail that really has no use other than the Bone Crusher Necklace. What's that thing called? Um, Bone Crusher Necklace. Yeah. So what I was thinking, so right now I want to show some stats. The bludgeon currently has 102 crush, zero defense bonuses, no negatives, luckily, and 85 strength. Now I want to show what the difference is between a mace and an avernic. So all of a sudden this bumps up 21 accuracy. Yes, 21 accuracy and 12 melee strength. That is a fucking huge chunk. Now, let's put into perspective. A mace is a way bigger grind. It's not a slayer boss. It's fucking nightmare. It's a it's crazy. And you have to get an Avernic, which is also a raids level item. So, my proposal is not to make the bludgeon in line necessarily with the mace and the Avernic, but if you guys look, the bludgeon has a special attack and most of you have probably never even used it before basically the lower your prayer points are so if i have one prayer point it increases my damage by 0.5 percent so if i were to have one prayer point left i'm basically getting a 50 percent damage hit but it uses half the special bar so what i was thinking is you attach the hydra tail to the bludgeon and it creates the Blood, Abyssal Bludgeon U for upgraded. And basically, this upgraded bludgeon would... Now, I, I don't know. It could have a little bit better stats. I was thinking keep the same melee strength to keep it in line, but maybe up the crush a little bit. Maybe make it to like 120 crush, just so it's not super like different. It, a mace would still be better in every single way, except for, obviously, the... Um, negatives but they do have positive defensive bonuses so i was just thinking bludgeon maybe could get a little bit more accuracy with the hydra tail attachment but it's not really stat wise i want to i was thinking of an idea to basically change the spec entirely and make it something very unique so you guys are gonna have to let me know what you guys think about this 50 percent spec bar and what it does uh, okay, it could be 50%. It could be 100%. This is a pretty overpowered special attack. So I want you guys to kind of battle it out in the comments what you guys think. What if you did a special attack and then the next incoming hit reflects full damage onto the target? So maybe it does have to be 100%. It would be a bludgeon. You're wielding it. I was thinking maybe it's just melee attacks. Maybe it could just be all attacks. But I was really thinking melee attacks. So if something attacks you with melee, the next attack that your opponent does to you reflects full damage back simply because this thing is a spiky motherfucker and if you spec with it basically like that is i don't know like full damage back to your opponent whatever he hits on his next attack or or she of course or them uh anyway so let me know what you guys think about that that was one just idea i was thinking of just you know something like a really niche attack it's sort of like a vengeance except more overpowered but it does cost you got to keep in mind this does cost full spec so if you're thinking that's going to be crazy busted in pvp not really because you can't just go in with like 
that spec and then two gmols or anything like you can't do something crazy it would cost 100 spec potentially 50 percent spec i think 50 percent would also just be totally fine something to give the bludgeon a little bit of love so let me know what you guys think about that there's a few more things i want to talk about as well as you guys see down here there is a dragon hunter crossbow dragon hunter lance and an arc light these three weapons are specialized and so with the Karis's, uh, these are specialized weapons. Arclight, of course, is really good against demons. These are good against dragonkin. And these are good against beetles and scarabs. So the cool thing about the Karis is that there is a, I believe it's like a 51% chance or a 1 in 50, or sorry, not 51% chance, a, a 1 in 51 or a 1 in 50 chance of basically tripling your damage. So with the Karis, I can hit 180 sometimes if I'm on task killing KQ. It's a beautiful sight to behold when you hit just a fucking massive hit. It is so fun, but it doesn't proc often enough. And I'm just going to be honest. I think the 1 in 50... You know what? Let me just check the fucking wiki real quick because um, I just need to make sure it is a 1 in... Yeah, 1 in 51 as it shows. Uh, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. 1 in 51 shot to do a triple puncturing in the hole of their exoskeleton. Oh, Jesus, I don't know what I just said. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was thinking, what if it was maybe a 1 in 25 or something like that? Keep in mind, this has no effect in PvP whatsoever. So we're just thinking PvM. You got a specialized weapon. It only does specialized attacks against certain monsters. I was thinking the Karis. It's so fun hitting those big numbers. It just doesn't proc often enough. Like, I literally was killing KQ for three hours one time, and it procced four times total. It was ridiculous. Now, of course, that was bad luck, but it just doesn't feel good when it takes, you know, about an hour to hit one. So I was thinking maybe a 1 in 20 shot to triple your damage. Now, you guys are probably thinking, that's so easy, Scape. It's busted. Who cares? Seriously, who cares? Like, really think about it. Who the fuck cares if you hit more triple damage spots against KQ? I don't think anybody would have a problem with that. So, the other thing I was thinking is the Karis is really fun that way, but you know what? A there, there's a problem with these other specialized weapons. They don't have the triple puncturing uh, holes in their dragonkin or demon. So, I was thinking, what if? And again, this is just an idea. Feel free to let me know if you guys hate it. What if the Arc Light, Dragon Hunter Lance, and the Dragon Cross, Dragon Hunter Crossbow also had the same effect? So a one in whatever shot, maybe it could just stay as one in 51 if everybody likes that. I would prefer it to be, you know, double the chance, maybe one in 25, one in 20, as I was just saying. But what if these weapons also got a triple splat here and there? Now, there is some benefits to it. It's not just I want to hit bigger numbers and I'm just going to break this game until it's fully busted. I was thinking, okay, so think about the Fang that came out, how it got nerfed. You guys remember the Fang nerf? It was outclassing specialized weapons. So, first of all, I have my own problem with the Dragon Hunter Lance and the Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Personally, I think they should all be charged. The Arc Light's charged. I really do think the Karis's should be charged. I think Dragon Hunter Lance, Dragon Hunter Crossbow should be charged in some form. But I'm not. That's not this video today. I'll talk about that another time. Keep. I'm. I'm I don't want to overcomplicate things. But the Fang came out and was all of a sudden better in certain situations than the Dragon Hunter Crossbow and the Dragon Hunter Lance because, uh, like, against Rune Dragons. And so they had to nerf it. But if these specialized weapons actually had that triple damage potential, you wouldn't have needed to really nerf the Fang because really the biggest problem with the Fang was it was actually just better than a lot of weapons that were supposed to be the best in slot for their specific monsters. Anyway, I'm just throwing out ideas. This is a idea ramble. I'm just throwing stuff out. Let me know what you guys think about this. Now, there are potential downsides. I, I will list some of the downsides. Some of them include Vorkath PBs. Of course, if you have a Dragon Hunter crossbow and you hit a fucking ruby with it and it does the proc, keep in mind, if you hit a ruby, it's like a 1 in 20 shot. And then it's a 1 in 50 shot to get the triple damage. So you're looking at every thousand hits with this motherfucker with ruby bolts. Keep in mind, a thousand ruby bolt hits, you would hit a 300. So this isn't just like I'm going to be nailing 300s every time. It's every fucking thousand hits. So, of course, if they were to increase that chance 
of uh, the triple damage spot. It could be more common, which I would personally love. Dragon Hunter Lance, same thing. Imagine just whacking a fucking, like, I don't even know. What can it hit on Vorkath? Like a 64 or something? Imagine tripling that. Like a 192, is that? Like, that would just be fun. Isn't that fun, guys? Maybe I'm just, like, going crazy. I'm probably going crazy. Let me know down in the comments. Type 1 if I'm going crazy. I'm fucking losing it. Anyway, um, that's it for me today. I just wanted to throw out a few ideas. The bludgeon spec, the uh, maybe up its accuracy a little bit with the hydra tail. Again, it would be an attachment. Maybe something else could attach as well. Give some love to these uh, specialized weapons. I think that'd be fucking awesome. And that's really it for me. I do have some more ideas to share next week. So stay tuned. Be sure to sub. Drop a like, as I said in the beginning, and huge shout out to the channel members. Thank you guys so much for your support, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.